Resources to Start, Run, and Grow Your Business, presented by the Department of Business Affairs and Consumer Protection. Today's agenda, you're going to learn about the ACP, how to start your business, run your business, and grow your business. After the presentation, there will be a Q&A session. The Chicago Department of Business Affairs and Consumer Protection ensures a fair and vibrant work marketplace for businesses, workers, and consumers in the city of Chicago. BACP licenses businesses and public vehicles regulate business activity and protects consumers from fraud, enforces Chicago labor laws, and partners with business service organizations and provide education and resources for small businesses. A business license issued by BACP is required to conduct most business activity in Chicago. Through the Small Business Center, BACP issues business licenses and regulate industries such as retail, liquor, theaters, event venues, restaurants, tobacco, mobile food vehicle, daycare centers, manufacturing facilities, motor vehicle repair, shops, and many more. The, the, the Small Business Center also issues common grants of privilege such as signs, canopies, awnings, and sidewalk cafe permits. To date, BACP has approximately 55,000 licenses maintained by BACP, 20,000, which are 1,000, which are sidewalk cafes, and approximately 12,000 of public vehicle licenses. Consumers, BACP protects consumers from fraud and illegal business activity. VACP encourages consumers to submit complaints to 311. Business Compliance Enforcement investigates consumer complaints, inspects businesses, and issues citations when necessary. To ensure compliance with city laws, VACP promotes consumer awareness through education and information to help consumers protect themselves. To date, BACP has received over 4,500 complaints through 311, 12,000 established investigations, and 100 plus free business education webinars and expos. The BACP Office of Labor Standards is, detect, is dedicated to promoting and enforcing Chicago labor laws. The laws that the office promotes and enforces include minimum wage, pay sick leave, wage staff, and fair work week. The office process complaints, conducts investigation, directs settlement proceedings, issue violations if necessary, and seeks license discipline against employers. To date, the Office of Labor Standards has received more than 220 complaints. 1,800 workers have received restitution and $650,000 in restitution was given directly to workers. Resources to start your business, entrepreneurial counseling, legal resources, business registration, financial resources, neighborhood resources, BACP economic recovery program, and a BACP edge program. SCORE Chicago is a national nonprofit association dedicated to helping small businesses get off the ground, grow, and achieve their goals through education and mentorship. SCORE provides advice for small business loans, starting a business, and drafting a business plan. Their office, they have over 45 locations in Cook, Lake, and part of Will County. Their Chicago location is 500 West Madison Street. To learn more about SCORE, you can visit their website at chicago.score.org. The Illinois Small Business Development Center located through, throughout the state, provides information, confidential business guidance, training, and other resources to start up an existing, to start up or, or improve an existing small business. Services include one-on-one -on -one business advice, management assistance, assistance with the development of business plans, help with access and market information, and the development of marketing plans. Located at the following NBDC delegate agencies, the Women's Small Business Development Center, the Little Village Chamber of Commerce, 
the Greater Inglewood CDC, the Greater Southwest Development Court. The Chicago Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights provide legal assistance to help low and moderate income entrepreneurs through the Small Business Legal Assistance Program. Service includes startups and existing businesses are assisted with a variety of transactional matters, including negotiating lease, determining corporate structure, reviewing trademark or other intellectual properties. They're located at 100 North LaSalle, Suite 600 in Chicago. To learn more about this program, please visit www.clccrul.org. Business registration. There are three steps to obtaining a business license. Determine your legal entity, register your business, then you apply for your business license. To learn more about these steps, I would like to encourage you to come into our small business center Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 4.30, and speak with a business consultant in person. Business registration. Cook County Clerk assumed names for sole proprietorships or general partnerships. Illinois Secretary of State file number for limited partnership corporations, LLCs, or nonprofits. Internal Revenue Service to get your EIN number is required to file and pay federal taxes. Illinois Department of Revenue, your account ID for any type of legal entity. If conducting business in Illinois, then obtain a certificate of registration. Financial resources. Allies for community business offer loans from $300 to $1 million. These loans can be used for working capital, to purchase inventory for equipment or other hard assets. Please visit their website. <laughs> Please visit their website at a4cb.org. The Women Business Development Center offers loans from $1,000 to $75,000 are available for new and existing small businesses in the state of Illinois and target towards business in low to moderate income communities. To learn more about their programs and offerings, please visit wbdc.org forward slash entrepreneur dash programs forward slash access to capital. Local Initiative Support Corporation supports new and growing businesses to position them for mainstream success. Loan size can range from $50,000 up to $5 million. Visit their website at lisc.org forward slash Chicago. Chicago Community Loan Fund provides financial, fi finances for projects across metropolitan Chicago that, re that revitalize neighborhoods. To learn more about their program, visit cclfchicago.org. Community Reinvest Re Reinvestment Fund USA levels the playing field for small business owners seeking capital from a responsible lender through match process between mission-driven lenders. To learn more, visit connecttocapital.com. Um, I know that was a lot. I'm going to leave this page here for like one minute for you all to maybe screenshot it or write it down. Financial Resources Continue Grant Program, the Small Business Improvement Fund, is community advantage loans, range from $50,000 to $250,000. To learn more, visit them at licensedsmallbusiness.org forward slash get a loan. The Neighborhood Opportunity Fund finances projects across the metropolitan Chicago that revitalize, that revitalize its neighborhoods. To learn more, Go to cclfchicago.org and invest southwest. It's an unprecedented community development initiative to marshal the resources of multiple city departments, community organizations, and corporate partners towards 12 commercial corridors within 10 south and west side community areas. To learn more, visit chicago.gov forward slash invest sw. Neighborhood Resource Development Centers is a network of over 70 grantees that are Chicago-based nonprofit business service organizations. They work in partnership with the city 
to improve the small business ecosystem in Chicago. To learn more about these programs, please visit chicago.gov forward slash NBDC. The Chicago Business Center is eight Chicago-based business service organizations located in the neighborhoods to serve as regional hub, providing business license assistance and other small resources and other resources for small businesses. Very similar to what you receive here at City Hall. So if you can't make it downtown, I would encourage you to visit one of these centers within the, the community. To learn more, go to chicago.gov forward slash CBC. Special service areas are geographic districts that fund expanded programs and services within a city designated area through property tax levies. The SSA provides support services include public property beautification and maintenance, safety, building rehab rebates, and district marketing. Local industry retention and initiative. They can help you with information about a particular industrial corridor, neighborhood, or business industry. Getting the new small business started or troubleshooting. City-related issues for small businesses, connecting you to financial resources, business-to-business -business networking resources, and employment and workforce development. Your alderman's office. All of them is also connect businesses with local resources such as available space, businesses and community organizations, and market opportunities in, the, in your ward. Your local library is also a great help. The Harold Washington Library Center has small business experts on hand to assist you. Additionally, your local branch of the Chicago Public Library is an excellent place to begin your business research. With the Chicago Public Library card, you can access these online resources anywhere where there's internet access by visiting chicagopubliclibrary.org. Economic recovery. The American Rescue Plan Act has invested $1.9 billion in Chicago and tens of millions in Chicago businesses and commercial corridors. The Chicago Recovery Plan is the city's plan to amplify once in a generation federal funding to create an equal base investment strategy. The ACP portfolio focuses on three core areas, support for small businesses, support for local nonprofits, and support for food equity programming. Hundreds of millions more targeted in investment in wealth building and economic opportunity programming. To learn more, Visit chicago.gov forward slash BACP recovery plan. Edge. The edge of this shift serves as an essential component to help develop, strengthen, and advocate for Chicago's minority and women owned businesses. Supports and advocates for our small business ecosystem by creating robust initiatives and programs that target minority and women owned businesses assisting them with increased participation in economic development and government contracts. To learn more, visit chicago.gov forward slash small business advocacy. Resources to run your business. We're gonna go over business license, how to apply for a business license, license zoning and inspections, hiring and training resources and permitting. The Chicago Small Business Center is the business license and permitting division of BACP in the city's destinations for business license, public way use, permitting, and other resources to start and grow your business. To learn more, visit chicago.gov forward slash business license. License. Here's an example of what a certificate looks like. Your business license requirement, most businesses are required to have this license. Um, some business licenses um, are issued by the state, such as doctors, attorneys, architects, CPAs. So that's no that license that the city does not handle. Trade licenses include Department of Buildings, issued by a general issues for general contractors, 
electrician, plumbing, and carpenter license. How to apply for a business license. You can either apply online by going to chicago.gov forward slash SBC and click apply for a business license. You can do this at any time. There are process during normal business hours. For assistance with your application, please call 312-74-GO-BIZ, Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Or you can apply in person at the Chicago Business Center here in City Hall at 121 North LaSalle, room 800. Walk-in schedule is Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Again, if you need assistance, please call 312-74-GO-BIZ or 312-744-6249. License and zoning inspections, small business center, zoning representatives, real-time zoning review for license applications. Health sanitations, criminal history unit, Fingerprints based background check, on site inspections, Department of Buildings, Department of Buildings con conducts building inspections and process and issues building permits. The fire department ensures that fire safety and fire pre prevention measures are in place. And Department of Public Health ensures that food safety and sanitation to prevent the spread of food borne diseases. Hiring and training resources. Manufacturing work partners with community-based organizations. Workforce, group, workforce groups are technically training providers and other associate, associations. These partners refer candidates to manufacturing works for assessment and testing. They're located at 2800 Southwestern Avenue. You can give them a call at 773-523-2516. WIA Workforce, Chicago Service Workforce, offers a wide variety of human capital solutions to local businesses in the hospitality industry. They're located at 500 North Dearborn Street, Suite 850. You can call them at 312-494-9346. Permits. The Department of Buildings. A building permit is required for new building construction, renovations, the installation of heating and cooling systems, or any plumbing or electrical work. If construction is necessary, you need to apply for the building's permit through the Department of Buildings. Public way use permits. Public way use unit issues permits to business owners who have any items such as signs, canopies, awnings, sidewalk cafes that extend out or onto the public way from their business location. There are many different types of public way use and the process to obtain the permit requires city council approval. Loading zones, CDOT. Loading zones are designated areas in the parking lane for the loading and unloading of deliveries to a building. These zones are for commercial vehicles or vehicles that have a valid non-commercial loading zone permit only. These zones are not designated to reserve parking for business patrons or employees. Any commercial vehicle may park in any loading zone to load and unload, unload for up to 30 minutes. Resources to grow your business. We're gonna go over opportunities, business resources, and business education. City contract opportunity for the Department of Procurement Services is the contracting certification and compliance authority for the city of Chicago. The MWDBE certification utilizes certified business to promote opportunities in the contracting process by contract awards to or use as a subcontractor. The list of certification types is airport concessions, business enterprise owned people with disabilities, disadvantaged business entrepreneur enterprise, minority business enterprise, veteran business enterprise, and women, women business enterprise. To learn more, go to chicago.gov forward slash DPS. 
business resources. The Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Businesses. With the 10,000 Small Businesses, you will gain practical business skills to help you take your business to the next level. In professional workshops, you will learn from some of the brightest minds in business. Learn about access to financial capital and build a powerful network of professional support. To learn more, visit www.10ksbchicago.com. You can also call them at 312-553-3127. The Women's Business Development Center. Scale Up is an incentive, is an intense eight-week seminar that gives established businesses the tools to grow. Each week, the class divides into a different side of the business, giving owners the opportunity to, opportunity to review, learn, and push themselves to the next level. Learn more, visit wbdc.org. World Business Chicago is a public-private nonprofit partnership that drives inclusive economic growth and job creation, supports businesses that promote Chicago as a leading global city. To learn more, visit worldbusinesschicago.com or send them an email at wbc at worldbusinesschicago.com. The University of Chicago Pulaski Center, Pulaski Center, I'm sorry. They offer workshop, business education courses, and incubate. <laughs> I cannot talk right now. Incubator, accelerants. Um, pull up, visit pulaski.uchicago.edu. The Northwestern Kellogg School of Business will engage a select cohort of 15 to 17 minority owned and other businesses that hire a significant percentage of employees from Chicago's under-resourced neighborhoods. Firms with revenues of $1 million or 20 plus employees, although smaller companies with higher growth potential will be considered. To learn more about this program, visit kellogg.northwestern.edu. DePaul University Corman Entrepreneurship. Women in Entrepreneurship Institute's Accelerate Her program the Coleman Mentor Program, visit business.depaul.edu. Business education, business education webinars. BACP offers business education webinars every Wednesday and Friday via Zoom. Class topics focus on startup operations, financing, marketing, social media, and more. Talk about industry professionals, not-for-profit agencies, and city employees. Chicago, visit us at chicago.gov forward slash business education. The Small Business Expo. BACP hosts a series of free small business expos. The expos provide business owners and entrepreneurs a forum to get expert advice. Connect with industry experts and government agencies. Learn new business strategies, meet other business owners, and attend an inspiring keynote address. The Expos are a part of the city's effort to support neighborhood businesses and economic development by leveraging local business support resources. To learn more about our Expo, visit chicago.gov forward slash business expo. Again, that's chicago.gov, sorry, forward slash business expo. The Entrepreneur Certificate Program. BACP, this is BAC, BACP's Entrepreneur Certificate Program is a free and optional program available to attendees of the free BACP Business Education Workshop and Webinar Series. The program is designed to give entrepreneurs the essential information they need to start and grow a business in Chicago. The program curriculum covers essentials in business planning, financing, marketing, legal topics, technology, and more. Once you successfully complete the program, you will be eligible to apply for entrepreneur loan with our partner bank. But to learn more about this program, visit chicago.gov forward slash business education. This is, um, this slide right here is our website for BACP. We have your main BACP website, our small business center, small business advocacy, our business education program, public vehicles, public license, office of labor standards, food truck fest, um, BACP Small Business Expo and House Share House Share Registration Portal. Feel free to take a screenshot of this.
And now we have questions. Let's go back to this page. I'll leave this page up. This webinar is being recorded and it will be posted on our YouTube page. So visit youtube.com forward slash Chicago BACP. I am interested in starting a YouTube channel that I want to. No, I don't think you need a license. Let me ask about Monique. Let me ask about. Monique, can you send us an email to BACP Outreach at cityofchicago.org? Yes, yeah. yes, Monique, please send us an email to BACP Outreach at cityofchicago.org. Um, you do not need the presenter's name in order to receive credit for the webinars that you attend. All you need is the name of the presentation and the date, and yeah, the date and the time of the um, webinar. When you register your business at 100 West Randolph, is this the same registration via BACP? No, it is not. <laughs> well, we don't provide copies of the presentation, but you can view this webinar again at youtube.com forward slash um, Chicago BACP. Is there a particular slide that you would like me to go back to? The video will be, will be uploaded either later on this afternoon or early Monday morning. Again, our YouTube page is youtube.com forward slash Chicago BACP. Is there financial grants to start businesses in neighborhoods lacking business? Uh, let me go back to that one. That slide. There's our neighborhood opportunity fund. Which is really great. Where's the slide? Right here, the Neighborhood Opportunity Fund is a grant to start businesses in neighborhoods lacking business. That, that's the whole purpose of this particular um, grant. Let me see what, let me get their exact website. Hold on. I'm gonna put it in the comments. I'm putting, I just put the link to the Neighborhood Opportunity Fund in the chat. Any more questions? Yes, you would need, so one would need to register both, correct? Yes, you would need to register with the state and with the city. You're welcome. Any more questions? Is there a particular slide you want me to go to? I know the slides were very um, content heavy. I know this one. And a lot of information, financial resources. So again, feel free to take a screenshot of this one, the financial resources um, slide. Let me know when I can go to the next slide that 
you guys are requesting. Okay, doesn't look like we have any more questions. Um, got it. I don't see the link for the neighborhood. Okay, I'll put it back in the chat. Website for what? What? Which website? I mentioned like a lot of them. Sheila, which website are you talking about? Oh, you want for me? YouTube. I'm just gonna put the link in the chat. It's youtube.com forward slash Chicago BACG. Jacqueline, what was your question? I probably missed it. Oh yeah, they talked about that. Um, Jacqueline, I don't know if you were had were able to attend our um webinar yesterday and they talked about that that it's important to hold off on signing a lease because you want to make sure that that zoning is approved for the business that you're trying to open zoning hold on let me find the link the page for zoning uh, i think i'm going wrong way yep going wrong way you should come and visit um talk to daniel you should come and talk to someone in the small business center but i don't want to lead you astray but they are I, they definitely said yesterday during our webinar that it's important that you make sure that your location is zoned for the business that you're trying to open before you sign any lease I'm looking for my zone. There we are. What the zoning link? Yeah. Hold on, I'm getting the link for you for zoning. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. One second. One second. Daniel, don't go nowhere. Wait, wait, wait. I'm getting the link. Okay, Daniel, I put the zoning link in the chat. Do you need a business license to sell handmade fabric products? Are you trying to do this from home? Or you want to go into a, like a storefront? If you're going to open up a business, you're definitely going to need a license. If you're going to be in a store, a storefront, you need a license. I keep saying requests for websites. Which website? Which link are you asking for? Do I need to redo the neighborhood opportunity fund? Now, neighborhood opportunity fund, they have um, several dates. 
So you just have to keep going back to and check when they when the next um next time they're accepting applications. Okay, I figured it out now. Here's a neighborhood opportunity fund link. There we go. Here is the Sony. That's their website. That's the link for their website. Here is the YouTube link for our YouTube page. So we have Neighborhood Opportunity Fund, the YouTube page, Sony. Are there other links that you would like for me to put in the chat? <clears throat> we Uh, procurement, you're working from home. For your business that you want to start from home, I would suggest that you come in and speak with a business consultant. They're here Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 4.30. Is it possible for someone please let me know if I need a business license to register my business? So business license and registering your business are two different things. In the chat, I will put something for the three steps to opening your business. Give me one second. Here's the link for Department of Procurement. Okay, somebody just had a question. Where do I meet with Abyss? Here at City Hall at 121 North LaSalle, Suite 800, from 8.30 to 4.30. Will the license information have the application fees associated with it? You know, each license has a different fee depending on what it is you're trying to do. Like if it's an event space, that's a different fee, right? And that's a totally different license. Let me get the link for that. So what I'm about to put now in the chat is the VACP Guide for licensing, even including home businesses. The three simple steps. What type of business license would I need for a wellness center offering different services? You know, that's a tricky one. You remember in the presentation, I talked about um, how the state provides licenses for certain businesses. So in your case, Latrice, you should come in and definitely speak with a business consultant here at City Hall at 121 North LaSalle. Monday through Friday, 
8.30 to 4.30. Yeah, send it to me in an email and I'll take the hospitality. Um, they do take walk-ins. You don't have to make an appointment. Yeah, no. I'm sending you a link on regarding the department, how you can visit us. Yes. Yes, ma'am. You can also speak to someone here in our, one of our business consultants. Yeah, 50 wars. <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Any more questions? Do I need to go to another um, slide before we log out? We still got a little time. Oh, so this is, you're welcome. How can we get a copy of the slide? But well, we don't send out a copy of the slide, but it will be posted on our YouTube page later on today or either early Monday morning. Yes, you do come to City Hall. To register your business, that's a, a state and county thing. Let me go back to the slide with the three simple steps. And I also put the link in the chat. I'll repost it again. Mm. Is this it? Hold on, I'm trying to find my slide with the three simple steps. Yeah, send it to me again. Where is my three simple steps? So here's the link for that, for the three simple steps. It mentions the county information, state and federal. Give me one second, Michael. I see your question in one second. I'm looking for something for somebody. Okay. Can you guys see this? The three simple steps? Let me know if you can see what I just put on the screen. I'm not sure if it's sharing or not. Okay, it is. So maybe that will help. 
but I also put the link for this particular flyer in the chat. I just did it, I'll do it again. Oh, Daniel, this, <laughs> this is the When we are assigned an advisor, is it someone different each time or are there a different person to help us through? That is a good question. Let me find out, hold on. Yes, yeah, so when you come in to see a business consultant, you do see the same person, person each time, unless they're on vacation or something like that. Go back to the licensing page, or do you want me to just, because this is basically what this is, because that licensing page just tells you the steps, but this flyer right here is what you really need to know. You want me to send you the link, Teresa? Put it, uh, put it in the chat again. Because these are the three simple steps to obtain a business license. Let me make it a little smaller so maybe you guys could uh, screenshot it, but I also put it in the link, put the link in the chat for this very thing. Let me go to the first page of it. No, Jamie, we're not going to email this deck, um, but it will be available on our YouTube page and you can watch it over and over and over. You can pause it, you can stop it. Did everyone screenshot the first part of this flyer? So I can go to page two. Okay. In addition to this one, which one do you, is there anything else guys? I think I was referring to the certification pages. Okay, yeah, Teresa, give me one second. Are we good screenshot and links? Thank you. Okay, can I go to what Teresa's request now? Can I get out of this? Let me know. Okay. So Teresa wants to go back to watch me get messed up. So Teresa, what did you say? You said, hold on. I was referring to the certification pages. Okay. Where is it? Just have to do that. Okay, I'm tripping. I think this is it, but Teresa, I will come in and speak to a business consultant. Yeah. One new message. Let's see. 
yeah, come on down. We're here Monday through Friday. 8.30 to 4.30. Anything else before we log off and enjoy this nice weather? We have eight minutes. It is not lunchtime on the night. I said, you all just going to keep asking for my name. I don't like giving out my name. Fine. My name is Stella. And once you think about it, you'll know why I don't like giving out my name. Huh? If I may ask, why isn't the slide deck email? It's just something we don't do. I don't make up the rules. I can ask, Julian. I'll ask. This is something that we can start doing. You know, sending out the email to everybody. Sure. The slide deck to everyone. I can definitely ask. We have to let. Wait, wait, wait. It's moving too fast. We have to. Uh, we have to let them know. Okay. Uh, what about? Actually, Julian, you don't really need the host name. Because the emails come straight to me. So you'll be fine. Just put in the name of the um, webinar that you attended and the date. Anything else? Anything else? Going once, going twice. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? I do have a question regarding if the property is approved zone. Um, Kimberly, if you have a property that's approved for zoning for the particular business that you want to start, you should be fine. But zoning is like key. Um, I believe Erica is our zoning expert here in the small business center. Um, but if you're not sure, come in. If you're not sure of anything, you guys should definitely come into the small business center. Those guys are very thorough and they know exactly what they're doing and what the requirements are. See, that's exactly why, Monique, I don't tell people my name. When I order food, I use my daughter's name. That was going forward, give people your name, but pronouncing it in French. Oh, really? See, that's why. Okay, you all, we done for today. Y'all just gonna keep going with these jokes. So, if you want to receive credit today, you know what to do. Send an email to bacpoutreach at cityofchicago.org. We, I am a little behind on it but I'm going to give you your credit. So as we've had over, we've had eight webinars in the last two weeks. Um, BACP Outreach at cityofchicago.org. To learn more about our upcoming webinars, visit chicago.gov forward slash business education. Again, that's chicago.gov forward slash business education. Um, some announcements, uh, that's pretty much it. So go out and have a great weekend and enjoy this wonderful day. Thank you, guys. See you next time.